All right, the cat's out of the bag. Although I'm not so sure that it was ever in the bag. I don't know anything about MotoGP, and I'm not going to pretend otherwise. My business is video games. I'm a critic, writer of those. What I'm not is a person who cares even a little about this sport, partly because I am an American. I mean, sorry, Europe, but I think I speak for all of us over here when I say we don't give a <laughs> So I'll spare you the crap you can Google for yourself about MotoGP. I guess it's a it's a racing thing with like bikes and stuff. Now, I'm not sure if these guys race for themselves or for a team, but I kind of find it interesting that most Americans generally only follow sports that involve a team, like baseball, football, basketball, you know, team sports. We care about those. We don't seem to care about individual sports, which is ironic since most Americans are self-obsessed You'd think we'd be all about sports in which telling someone there is no I in T-E-A-M gets you a mouthful of gravel and your bike tipped over. I guess there's no I in skull fracture either. Yeah! Anyway, released earlier this year, uh, yes, even in the States, MotoGP 1011 can be purchased for both the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. I'm playing the PS3 version here because that's the one I was given, at which point I stared at the box, closed my eyes, and hoped when I opened them, I'd be holding a game other than MotoGP 1011. MotoGP 1011 was developed by the British studio Monumental Games. Now, this is the team's second crack at the MotoGP series, and objectively speaking, they've made some good strides. This is a better game than MotoGP 910 from the graphics to even the handling of the bikes. It's just that, personally, I mean, it's, come on, it, at least give me a banana peel. Give me something. I played this game on the easiest setting, which is called Gentle. And even then, I was falling all over the place. You can't play MotoGP 1011 like a video game. It forces you to abide to its long braking zones and steer its bikes with at least a semblance of realism. You have to race like a real racer. That is to say, you can't have any fun. Case in point, you're penalized for bumping into other racers. And I'm sorry, but here in America, we're not penalized for anything. I've never personally understood the appeal of games that try to make racing a motorcycle as realistic as possible. If I wanted to do that, I'd go outside and ride a motorcycle. But if you're into racing games that care about physics and realism, this one isn't a terrible choice. In fact, it's actually pretty good. Keeping the bike on its wheels is the main gameplay focus, as even the slightest mistake can put you in the dirt. MotoGP 1011 also has 18 racing circuits, which is a nice amount. The game also features drop-in, drop-out, cooperative multiplayer, and that's a fantastic addition. I'm a huge fan of local modes like that, so bonus points for MotoGP 1011. Listen, you come here for opinions, right? My opinion on games that emphasize realism over fun has been well established. They're real alright, real boring. But I don't want to be too harsh on this one, because for what it is, it really isn't bad. In fact, it's one of the better, modern, realistic bike racing games I've played, and it's certainly at least a lap ahead of last year's version. So if you're into MotoGP, whatever that is, MotoGP 1011 is a no-brainer. Although next year, I'd like to see some more multiplayer modes. Maybe some, maybe some fiery loops. Suspended by spiky poles and held up by polar bears. USA!